hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are audio thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial we are going to learn how to design a church flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started so launch your photoshop then go to file select new or ctrl plus n to create a new one then i'm going to use a5 paper size then you can locate it under print then over here you see a5 then change it to inches and leave your resolution at 300 then click on grid this is for social media so we are not going to use cmyk for printing all right so over here now then go to your color and i'm going to copy this color code over here right click and select copy to copy it or you use your short key using ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color over here then select it and ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to bring our test now so that is the first thing we are going to do and over here these are the fonts we are going to use in this tutorial so now i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c or right click then you copy it after that then we are going to import the church logo and under the resource file here these are the tools we are going to use so then import the church logo reduce the size and drag it over here all right then zoom in select your test tool come over here then under the tools here you will see the test to see the logo then all you press t using the short key then to select the test to so now we are going to paste it you can right click and paste or ctrl plus v to paste then select right alignment to give you this now we are going to reduce the font size this way is okay then drag it and position it over here So having done this one now, so the next one we are going to do, then we are going to bring our image, then go to this pastor image, then you drag it and increase the size. This way is okay. Something like this. So if there is any adjustment, then we are going to apply the adjustment on it later. For now, let's leave it like this then we are going to blend it then apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool over here and uh, blend the bottom here it's okay like this now i'm going to convert this to smart object then duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate or you drag it over here to duplicate it now this one the one below we are going to rasterize it then having rasterized it apply a drop shadow so we are going to create a, an effect on this so this is the effect i'm talking about and over here so this is the color i use so you can take note of it and this is the setting so keep the distance the spread and the size then click ok to apply it so having done that one so the next one now we are going to do we are going to copy our test then ctrl plus c to copy in then select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to use left alignment increase the size and we are going to change the font then go back to your test tool so you already know this is our test tool and we are going to use the font gothic champion or champion gothic so this is the font and select the heavy weights one now increase the size
so this one i'm going to double click to open this image then i'm going to delete this layer mask over here then close it and save it so you can see the difference now how it cover that shape there then i'm going to drag this one at the top okay so having done this one like this so the next one then we are going to copy our test then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool and ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to change the font so this is the font so we are going to copy this font over here then ctrl plus v to paste now change the font color to red then position it over there and increase the size all right so having done this one then we are going to copy this one over here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste now we are going to change the font color to something like this and we are going to change the font then using balo over here then make it bold and increase the font size then we are going to reduce the character spacing by minus 20 percent 40 percent is okay then also we are going to reduce the size So the next now we are going to draw a rent angle like this then change the color to red or we are going to apply a gradient color right so as you can see then we are going to apply this color over here then bring this one back click ok to apply it then duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then now we are going to reduce the size of this one something like this then go back double click on this fx here then go to the gradient color now bring this one to this size something like this is okay then you can see the effect on the background here okay then you click ok to apply it now go back to your test and copy this one then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to white then you bring it over here increase the size then copy this one now we are going to duplicate this one ctrl plus j to duplicate then you drag it down select your test tool then highlight it like i said before to highlight go to select then you see highlight here ctrl plus a to highlight then ctrl plus v to paste then fix this one like this To 
remove the character spacing by 0%. Something like this. Okay. Then we are going back to this image. Select the two image. Reduce it this way. Use your arrow key then to take it up. So click like this. Then create a new layer. Click here to create a new layer. Then go to your brush. Then we are going to select a new brush. So under this stroke brush here, so you can go to brush gc to download a stroke brush i'm going to use something like this okay i'm going to drop the brush in the description to check the check the resource file then to download the brush to so something like this Right now, I'm going to draw a rent angle. Like this. Then apply white color. Then go to your drop shadow to apply a shadow. Then change the color to black then this one we are going to change the distance to 5 then this one to 2 and this one to 10 or oh. okay then we are going to reduce the opacity to around 43% or below it's okay something like this now go to your test and we are going to copy the location then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste then we are going to change the font color okay then reduce the font size then change the font color to something darker sorry for that Something like this is okay. Then, and the font we are going to use is Balo. So, that is it. So, the last thing, then copy this one. Then you can duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate and bring it down. Then select your test tool, go to select, then highlight all, then Ctrl plus V to paste and change the font color to black. Now we are going to draw a line, something like this. Then apply red color. Then duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Take it up. Then you bring it down. 
then double click to alight then copy this one ctrl plus c to copy the ctrl plus v to paste now hold your shift key while you select it then apply vertical alignment to centralize it now ctrl plus a to select all then apply vertical alignment to centralize it then also we are going to do the same thing to the location and the rent angle there then select vertical alignment to centralize it then go to select then deselect or ctrl plus d to deselect so we have something like this now hold your shift key while you select it all and we are going to increase the size something this way then we are going to take this one up hold your shift key while you select it then use your arrow key and to move it up increase it a little okay so we are done with that then let's increase the last one something like this then use your arrow key then to bring it down so more bold than before now okay so now we are going to our background so the first thing now we are going to import this background image then scale it out to fill everywhere now then we are going to apply gaussian blur go to filter then blur gaussian blur and over here we are going to use 11 point one percent then we are going to change the bloody mode to multiply so having done that one then we are going to import the other background image which is this then scale it out then go to filter select blur gaussian blur and we are going to blur it by 20.8% and go to your bloody mode and select linear dodge add apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend it over here then next we are going to apply a curve so go to your quick color then select curve now we are going to darken the image this way it's okay before and now then now we are going to our resource file then import this background image over here then drag it up scale it a little then we are going to apply our gaussian blur go to select and i mean filter select blur gaussian blur and over here then we are going to apply 11.1 percent then apply your layer mask select your gradient to or press g on your keyboard that is a shortcut key then you will have something like this and we are going to change the blending mode to soft light then it will give you this then the next one we are going to apply a worship image 
so then import this worship image then drag it up like this it's okay now we are going to reduce the opacity to 15 percent like this then apply your layer mask select your gradient tool and you blend the bottom over here then that is what you will get all right then having done that one so we are going to copy the name of the pastor so ctrl plus c to copy then select your test tool or you press t using the keyboard then i'm going to change the color to yellow then ctrl plus v to paste now drag it up then change the font to britannic signature and go back to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy in then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font to Balo. Then make it bold. And we are going to break it this way. I like this one and change the font color to white. Now we are going to reduce the font size. then this one also reduce it you can use white color on this one so let's change the color to white something like this so between the two anyway i want to use either you use yellow color or you use white color so it's up to you so as far as it's okay then you can use it so after that then we are going to bring our light effect then import this one drag it over here then change the blending mode to screen and reduce the size So the last but not the least then we are going to import this one then position it around here change the blending mode to screen then you will have something like this then go to filter select blur Gaussian blur and we are going to blur it by 23.5 percent something like this now go back to image then draw a rent angle over here like this then use your arrow key then to bring it down then go to your filter select blow question blow then convert it to smart object then click OK using the same blur number. Then you click OK to apply it. So then this is the outcome of the design. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, please kindly subscribe, like, and share. Really appreciate you guys for following. And don't forget, if you need any of my flyer, then go to the link. You will see my Fiverr account. Then order your flyer through the Fiverr account. And if you want to optimize your video, then you can use the two body link in the description to optimize your video channel. Thank you so much for following. I really appreciate it.